Selena, the American singer of Latino origin known as the Queen of Tejano Music, was murdered on March 31, 1995 in Texas by an employee and fanatic, Yolanda Saldivar, who shot her in the back with a .38 Special Caliber Taurus Model 85 pistol, a weapon that carries a mystery from the day Yolanda acquires it until its strange end. Yolanda Saldivar, president of Selena's fan club and manager of her boutiques, learns that they are going to have a conversation with her about her performance at work. She knows it will be the end of it since she embezzled funds from the company, a situation discovered by Selena's father, Abraham Quintanilla. Yolanda has issued over $60,000 in counterfeit checks. Yolanda enters a gun shop and acquires a Taurus Model 85, a revolver with a capacity of five shots. For some reason, she returns it but buys it again days later. On the night of March 30th, in room 158 of the Days and Hotel in Corpus Christi, Texas, Selena and Yolanda meet to close their work relationship. They say goodbye, but there are still unresolved issues. The next morning they meet again. Selena complains that the financial documentation she needs has not been delivered to her. The discussion escalates. Yolanda loses control. She had already stated that her devotion to Selena bordered on obsession. Amidst the screams, Yolanda pulls out the Taurus Model 85 revolver. It is a compact double action revolver, distinguished by its robust design, reliability, easy concealment, and accessibility to acquire. Equipped with safety features such as the trigger lock, it offers a comfortable and secure grip. Selena sees the weapon and panics. She tries to flee. Yolanda shoots her in the back, severely hitting her right shoulder. Selena manages to reach the lobby leaving a trail of blood and faints. The 23-year-old Tex-Mex queen, with a prodigious voice, unique charisma, and an immeasurable future, dies murdered in the Corpus Christi Memorial at 1.05 p.m. on March 31st. Yolanda is pursued by the police as she leaves the hotel, cornered in her vehicle and still with her weapon. She threatens to commit suicide but surrenders. During the trial, the Taurus revolver is the evidence of the crime, but mysteriously, it disappears at the end. The gun is considered lost. Strangely, seven years later, the revolver is found in the house of a reporter covering the trial. The judge orders it to be disassembled so that it can never be reconstructed, and furthermore, and as if that were not enough, orders it to be thrown into the Bay of Corpus Christi where it lies at the bottom of the sea. Also that only the wonderful songs and images of one of the most famous Mexican-American artists of the late 20th century endure, Selena.